chicken tikka and uh, obviously this is my one of the favorite t tank in the game at the moment for me the T54 E1 and uh, let's bring this game in so T54 E1 I was gonna do a review pretty quickly on this tank uh, but my render software broke and uh, the files all got destroyed uh, and there's no way to make a review soon so I, I, I just think that now I'm gonna probably wait until I almost get the T57 Heavy to make the final uh, decision on whether if I should do the review or not and uh, tell me what you think from the comments below I shall be able to make a, a educated guess on whether if I should do that now why I love this tank is that it's got such a good burst damage and check out this M103 you don't do this really this is not what you should do and RT straight away on me so what you saw there was the good ability to uh, to put sh quick shots quick damage into your opponents and the difference between this tank and Lorraine and such is that this tank has a really good uh, autoloader which is uh, doing 390 alpha each shot and you got four of them so you're looking at uh, let's say the IS-6 shooting uh, four times and that is pretty devastating power now with four rounds it's not actually that bad of a thing compared to uh, let's say six round in a clip is that it takes not that it doesn't take that long to unload the entire clip so you don't have to stay exposed and if you want to do a quick uh, trade session with the Lorraine's, the AMX 5100s, the 120s, uh, and such. This tank comes up pretty well actually because the gun actually can do quite a bit of uh, damage compared to a lot of the autos in the tank in the game. And the, the downside to this gun is that it is quite inaccurate uh, in some ways. But you can see how quickly I can dish out the damage and somehow I managed to bounce the 1390, which is ultra ultra unlucky but uh the reload 33 seconds i can live with it if you think about this 33 seconds i'm looking at four shots and that is a phenomenal dpm in fact if you think about it is6 to do 390 alpha takes 10 seconds now 10 seconds time i would in order to do four shots i need to wait for 40 odd seconds this thing only needs 33 second overall reload but of course you got a two second inter drum reload but I, I can take that you know as long as this thing can dish out the, the monster damage as it can certainly do if it penetrates now the penetration is a weak uh to 200 even gold round wouldn't mean all two pen so it's not like the t54 soviet tier 9 where if you fire the gold round you're likely to uh, destroy them easily so I, I killed a KV3 and oh my god SDI I guess quite lucky ammo racks me and I I have to fix that of course and the RT is gonna really give me the worst pain in this game uh, they're constantly gonna rain shells on my head and you can look at this team it's just the, the, the start of this game is not ideal yet and I, I always like Come on, I, I want to get the damage done and win this game because, you know, this tank is totally awesome. But, okay, my, my win ratio in this tank isn't, you know, 70%, even though I love it to bits. It's mostly because, you know, shitty teams and uh, such. But normally, if I play like a, let's say, E75, I get a pretty good win ratio because uh, I don't get as much shit teams as I do get in this tank. Now I did load a gold clip there for the SDI and holy shit, RT just hit me and he broke my gun and this is why I, I totally, totally, totally dislike the fact that RT just focused me this entire game and I, the thing is, okay, they, they can shoot me and damage me but now they've broken my gun, they've done so many things to me, it's hard for me to to play the rest of this game now. And there's 6-6, six, six, uh, and we lost base, obviously, because, you know, all the guys co going down the to the other flank has uh, been vaporized. And I don't want to pop out, because, you know, uh, there was a T-30, and holy shit, I, I tried to pick up a phone call, 
and I got RT during the process of that. I was extremely shocked to, to note that I just got taken out by a direct hit with the Lorraine, which took out my uh, was it eight gunner or something? I uh, can't remember. Oh yeah, gunner. That's it. So with a broken gun and gunner, I'm not gonna have that. So I have to patch him up immediately, and that means repair repair pack and also med pack is gone and this game is now looking very bad and the worst thing to do in a WZ120 is to rush in front of the enemy tanks and uh, get killed of course wait for your allies to come and holy shit we just lost a T-34 and because of my inaccurate gun I somehow actually managed to hit him uh, with the first shot I fired but in 9.6 it's not gonna happen again like that not like that anyway and Tiger I was thinking, should I go Tiger or T sorry? Oh, Tiger one shot. It's so inaccurate here. And yeah, you can see that if I had a good gun, then I could have easily discharged the damage to the Tiger. But of course, now I've got to wait 30 seconds again, and the, the Bulldog is going to give me hell as well. T sorry is coming my way with, the, with almost 1200, I believe, health. 1300 health to be precise and now the bulldog is just raping on already I, I I can't do shit about it enemy already trying to fight into the cap I'm like should I take out the RT or should I take out this guy and because I'm in I'm here RT is gonna be focused on me a lot now the WZ120 he should he is the one that really really could have won it for the team but didn't because he decided not to come back and said he's gonna attack on his own and I think if, if he, he came back it could have been better and holy shit I, I got some badass movements here I, I, I was unaware of the, the poor gun depression and to be fair I was I was talking on the phone so playing at the same time is not the best of my interest and Artie nuked me again for like the fifth time now in the game I'm really pissed off with the Artie because you know what, all they do is click, sit there and click a button and raining shells, shells at me and I, I, I just really really hate that I feel that I feel like the fact that they can shoot me while I can't shoot them is very very annoying and can you imagine how much I'm raging now I've done 4000 damage and not even a sight of winning in fact we're gonna lose this one because the tiger one is now gonna get killed I aim for my shots but broken gun means not gonna hit and now this guy stops uh, one more and I missed okay apparently that's my luck tiger is gonna so try to get killed obviously because shit got rt again and Tiger apparently killed the Bulldog, which is nice. Now it's Waffle against really just me and the Tiger. But the enemy RTs are quite quite fast, so they can shotgun me if needed. I'm on 49 health. I'm quite lucky I'm still alive. And now I start to cap. With a broken gun, really, there's no point for me to go on spot because you know what, waffles have good view range, so my plan is to camp. And the, the, the location you camp has to be very good because the enemy already can just splash me the, the slightest to kill me now. And we wait. Now the tiger is in a very bad position. I cannot believe he's actually there in the open. Uh, it's just unbelievable how stupid he is. So I have to quickly fire my shots because I need to go for a reload soon. And holy shit, I just got a low roll. Can you believe that? I just got a low roll when I needed a high roll. 350 I got. My gun does 390. And because of my broken gun, I'm really fucked now. 6k damage almost. And not even a sight of winning. So Tim Jin was like, stay back, and holy shit, that one was close again. The RT almost killed me there. And we'll see the end. Uh, I was trying to cap, obviously. I, I need the waff a waffle trigger to be in close range, but just just have a look at what's going to happen.
I was scared that someone's gonna flank me, but the good traverse speed of this thing allows me to do uh, pretty amazing stuff. But the, I have to say though, in the end, the RT was well played. In the end, you're gonna see how he is gonna coordinate the attack to take me out, which is a good teamwork really by the enemy. But to be honest, I, I felt like I, I could have won this game if my team did the tiniest bit more damage. The fact that half of my team did zero damage is just shocking. And tell me what you think about this type of team. What would you have done? I I certainly went rage mode uh, afterwards because you know this this type of game is is so annoying. And you, the tactic I'm employing is that because the RT just landed a shot where um, I was st I'm standing right now, I think he's not gonna land a shot again here because he knows that I'm not gonna be here. So therefore I stand in the location of which he has just fired and I hope that really ca can save my life. I'm really living on rented lifetime here, <laughs> hoping that I won't get killed. But you know, if I was Waffle, I would have gone around here. So I, I pre-aimed for here and even if he caps, if he even tried to come from the other side, he would stop the cap and holy shit, this is what I least wanted the Lorraine to to spot me and I can't take him out and now I'm trying to cap but again I don't want to go out but I also want to take out the Lorraine but with a broken gun I'm not really going to do it so I noticed someone's in the cap so I have to pre-aim the waffle is probably going to get outplayed here I wait until the waffle comes and there goes the kill on the waffle so I have to quickly immediately relocate where should I relocate I'm zigzagging and they're congratulating me in chat I'm like holy shit I have to move this one really really weirdly and now RT spotted me again holy shit and oh my god I just got a ah, low road again and holy shit you missed I'm like shit I can win this now actually and nope I missed a shot and fuck I'm trying to zigzag I thought I could win this but okay enemy RT missed again I'm like holy shit come on he's spotting me which is what's really bad about it and then I try to climb up here 95 96 97 90 oh shit he's he's inside our cap he's inside our cap and bam he, they blind shot in me to secure the win how sad is this game got to 97 and <laughs> ultimately destroyed by the enemy's RT and uh, th th there's no point for me to show you the after game stats it's just all the rage in the world really the team was unable to do a single piece of shit and uh, hopefully you have maybe learned something the way I managed to manage to be able to time my reloads for example to take out the as much as I can on the waffle trigger then uh, kill the rest and if I had low high road on the waffle I could have uh, for example had enough clip maybe to have killed the ring RT and maybe won this game in the end but this is the outcome and I have to say that I feel extremely sad about this game and hopefully just as a whole you you can share the feeling of the rage against artillery players but nonetheless they played quite well and please I, I don't want this type of game again, really. I'd rather lose quite badly than have a legendary good game and then get fucked up by RT. It's the worst type of feeling ever. Hopefully you can understand that. And uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>